All right, um, two ways to balance uh, redox reactions. This one's called the half cell method. Uh, quick little review. I need to balance reactions for atoms. I need to balance them for uh, charge on both sides. And I need to balance them for the number of electrons passed from the things that are oxidized and reduced. So there's a few uh, steps here. Um, first step, so I put them here and you can pause it and write them down. Um, I, I also have them beside the question. I build it just a little smaller so that I can take a look at them as I go. So it's divided into half reactions. So I have two half reactions. Looks like Cr2O7 is turning into Cr plus 3. It looks like Cl minus is turning into Cl2. Okay. Balance for atoms other than O and H. I got two Cr's. Oops, looks like I need to put a 2 here. Uh, and I need a 2 here. Um, balance uh, for oxygen atoms by adding water to the side that needs O. Seven. Looks like I'm going to need seven waters over on this side. Um, this side does not need water on either side because there is no O. Balance for hydrogens by adding in H plus to the side that needs it. This guy right here doesn't need any H's. It stays the same. Over here, uh, this guy's got 14 more H's. So it looks like I need... ...14 of them. and three of those. Balance the charge by adding electrons. Step number five. So this guy, um, minus two is th this side, so it looks like I need two Cl minus. Looks like I need two electrons on that side, and then both sides have a charge of minus two. Here, this side is plus 14, this side is plus 12. And over here, this side is plus six. So it looks like I need six electrons uh, over here to give them both sides a charge of plus six. So I'll write six electrons, 14 H pluses, Cr2O7 minus two, seven waters, and two Cr plus three. Um, step six, make the electrons gained or equaled to the electrons lost. So right now I've got a two here, right now I've got a six here, and I need to make the, that number the same. Um, so I'm going to turn the two into a six by multiplying this reaction right here by three. So I'm going to get uh, six Cl minus plus three, whoops, arrow, three Cl2 plus six E minus. Now the number of electrons passes the same. Um, and now I have to add them. So what do I have? I'm going to put an arrow right here, right in the middle. So I've got a, I'm going to write this thing, 6 Cl minus. I've got 6 electrons. I've got 14. Whoa. I didn't like the way I wrote any of that, so I'm going to rewrite it. I've got six Cl minus, I've got six electrons, I've got 14 H plus, I've got a Cr2O7 minus two. Over here, I've got seven waters, I've got two of these Cr plus threes, I've got three Cl twos, and I've got six electrons. Step seven, cancel anything that's the same on both sides. Um, what do I got that's the same? I got six electrons, gotta go. 
Yes, I think that's it. All right. So I'm going to rewrite this guy. Six Cl minus fourteen H plus and a Cr two O seven minus two. Now just for fun, let's see that it's 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 balanced for all those things. I know it's balanced for electrons just because I, I just got rid of six and six on each side. Six CLs, six CLs, two of those, two of those, fourteen H's, fourteen H's, O's, I got seven, I got seven, looks like I'm balanced for all those. Total charge on this side minus six, minus eight, total charge on this side is plus six. Total charge on this side is plus six. This thing is balanced. Let's try this one. No, I'm not going to have the rules at the side, uh, but it'll give me a little bit more room to write. First thing, I break up this thing into its two half reactions. Looks like MnO4 is turning into Mn plus two. It looks like Cl minus is turning into Cl2. Sorry, one second. Yeah. Give it a shot. Um, MnO4. Uh, first thing I need to do is. Um, Bounce for things other than O and H. That means MNs, one and one. Oh, here I'm going to need a two. Um, now I'm about to balance for O's by adding in waters. Looks like I'm going to need some waters over here because I got four extra O's. So I'm going to write MnO4 minus. It's going to give me four H2O and then Mn plus two. This guy is fine. Now I balance for H's by adding an H plus, and I know I'm in a basic solution. I'm going to deal with it in a second. I'm going to balance um, for H's. Looks like I'm going to need 8H plus on that side. This guy stays um, the same. Um, next thing I do is I I balance for uh, charge. Sorry, next thing I do is I balance for charge by adding in electrons. This side has a charge of plus two. This side has a charge of plus seven. Looks like I'm going to need five electrons over on this side, so I'm going to put five E minus, eight H plus. MnO4 minus four waters and Mn2 plus. Here, uh, two Cl minus is giving me Cl2 and two electrons. Uh, next thing I have to do is make sure the number of electrons is the same uh, in both reactions before I add them together. Five, two, looks like I should shoot for ten. I'm going to multiply this whole equation by Five. I'm going to multiply this equation by two. Now, before I add them, I'm going to do cancellation. Definitely on the left I'm going to have 10, on the right I'm going to have 10. Uh, no waters, no H pluses or the other things that they might have in common. Um, now I can just write down 16 H plus uh, 2 MnO4 minus 10 Cl minus arrow. Those are all the three things on the left. One, two, three. On the right, I'm going to have one, two, three things also. Have eight water. I'm going to have two of those and five.
five Cl two. Now we're now is where it's in a basic solution comes into play. However many H pluses I have, I'm going to add that many OH minuses to both sides. So I'm going to get 16 OH minus 16 H plus. Here's the, the key idea. It's turning it basic now. 16 OH minus and 16 H plus is going to give me 16 waters. Yeah. Uh, if I have 16 waters, if 16 means that I'm going to get rid of. Turn that 16 into an 8, and all of those will disappear. So I'm going to get 8 waters. I'm going to get 2 of these MnO4 minus, 10 Cl minus. I'm going to get 2 Mn plus 2s, 5 Cl 2s, and 16 OH minus. Now, if I look carefully, 2 MNs, 2 MNs, 10, 10 CLs, uh, 16 O's, 8, and then another 8, uh, 16 H's, 16 H's, wonderful. Uh, uh, atoms have balanced, charge has balanced because I cancelled out the 10 electrons on both, sorry, uh, number of electrons passed is balanced because I cancelled out the number of electrons on both sides was 10 and they're both gone only thing left is just to double check charge minus 2 another 10 makes minus 12 minus 16 plus 4 leaves me at minus 12 and that leaves me as happy